running. There he is, blood gore, intense violent news. I just want to make sure my audio is okay. Hey, welcome again to another Digital Woods Warhammer 40k game. Uh, this time we're doing an off standard points game. Um, this engagement is going to be Orcs versus Thousand Suns again. Hooray! Um, as a side note, I'm bringing every orc that we currently have painted. That's why it's the off number. Yeah, it's an 800 point game. Yeah, 800 point game. So, uh, can't wait to get into it. On to armies. Woo! All right, so this is going to be my uh, army of orcs for this engagement. I'm going to be running a patrol detachment uh, for this one. And uh, let's just get into it. So my warlord is going to be the weird boy right here up front. He is going to have the psychic powers smite and warpath for this engagement. And he's just got his standard weird stick with him. Uh, moving on to the main army. I've got 23 boys, uh, all with sluggachapas. And they brought along one boss knob with a uh, combi with a scorcher with them. Uh, next, all the way in the back, the big red uh, meanie back there, the truck with its big shooter and wrecking ball. Next is going to be a group of three mega knobs, all kitted out with power claws and combi weapons with scorches. And all the way on the right is going to be three knobs on war bikes with custom shooters, power claws, and the twin DACA guns that come with the bikes. Now I'm bringing one new model uh, today, the pain boy right here with his uh, grot orderly and his kill saw. And I almost forgot to give my uh, weird boy up in the front's warlord trait. It's going to be inspiring presence for this uh, engagement because orcs aren't that leader y. Uh, anyway, that's my army. Alright, here is my 800 point patrol detachment, a thousand sons. I could have made it a battalion, but I wanted to keep my Zangors as one big blob. So, patrol detachment. Starting off with my Warlord is going to be this Sorcerer in Terminator armor. He has himself a familiar. He has the Warlord trait High Magister. And he is going to be taking the Psychic Powers, Prescience, and Boon of Mutation. My second HQ is another Sorcerer in Terminator armor with a... Familiar, he is going to take Glamour of Zinch and Zinch's Firestorm. For troops, I have a 20 Zangor Blob with their Zangor Blades. I know they're uh, modeled with their Auto Pistols and Chain Swords, but I like the Zangor Blades better in this edition. And then I got a unit of 10 Rubric Marines. One of them will have a Soul Reaper Cannon. The Sorcerer, the Aspiring Sorcerer, will have one Psychic Power, which really won't matter because I'm going to spend one Command Point in the first phase and replace it with one that I couldn't take normally. And in the back, my newest guy to join the Thousand Sun Throng is a Hellbrute. I'm kidding him out as he appears in this particular version. He's going to have his multi melta and a Power Fist, and he is also going to have a Heavy Flamer mounted into that Dread Halbert Power Fist. Uh, Warlord trade already did, so Relic. I'm going to go ahead and give Ethereum Scrolls to my Warlord. I know the helm is better, but why not mix it up a wee bit? And that is my 802 points of a thousand suns. Alright, folks, here we are deployed for our game of the Relic from the Eternal War section. We chose to go with the uh, search and destroy game mode, or deployment type, Mike chose that. I finished deploying first, so I'll be having first turn unless Mike can seize it. Uh, in this one, it is pretty straightforward. There's First Blood, Line Breaker, Slay the, Slay the Warlord, uh, and whoever controls the relic at the end of the game gets, what, three victory points? Ah, uh, I believe they just win. They just win? Yeah, well, whatever. It's, well, it's either three or they just win. Uh, and in this one, infantry can pick up and move the relic. Yes. For this game, uh, 
since we've done a lot of Eternal Wars recently, we decided to throw in the Empiric Storms into it. So there's a big old warp storm going on. At the start of each player turn, a thing happens. Whether that thing is beneficial or hindering, we'll find yeah, out. Yeah. All right, and unless, Mike, you can seize the initiative, it will be Thousand Sun's turn. Let's find out. I did not. not. Damn it. I was really hoping for that initial charge. Yep. Thousand Suns, turn one. Okay. At the beginning of turn one for the Thousand Suns, I have to roll on the Entropic Storms table. I will make the black dice the ones. Twenty-five. Twenty-five uh, reality speeds. Huh. All right. What does that do? What does that do? Reality speeds. Add one to all move characteristics and move three to all move characteristics of all demons and psychers. So I need to move all my all my guys one more extra inch. Alright, so the end of movement for Thousand Suns turn one. The Zangor is all moving up. The this sorcerer following behind. The Hilbert remains stationary because because of where this truck is. He's within 24 to get that multi melted shot in there. And I deep striked all these guys behind. To just, you know, lay on. So that is it for my movement. And on to Psychic. Yep's. Okay, at the start of my Psychic phase, I will use the one command point stratagem and pop the spell familiar on him, trading his one that I never bothered to name on his to. Uh, Gaze of Fate. Because it's always just better. better to have someone in the army with Gaze of Fate. So I've now got one command point left. I'm going to jump over here and have him do Zinch's Firestorm on your Psyker. Alright. So that is a Warp Charge 7. And I got it with a total of an 11. Because I have plus one to the first Psychic cast. I, I will attempt... Wait. An 11 you said? Yep. Never mind. I will not attempt to uh, counter that. That will be a waste. And this is the roll nine dice, any sixes or mortal wounds. All right, so he could die right here. Okay. So rolling, any sixes, mortal wounds. And it looks like only one. All right. Would that fall under the Pain yep. Boys pain six, boy. up? six up? Pain Boy! Nope, no. it's a five. Do you want to use your once per game? Ah. Uh, yeah, yeah, why not? Uh, once per game, I'm using the Grot orderly reroll. Just kind of rub a Grot on the wound. No. No, uh, and the Grot's dead. There. Or at least it can't do that it again. Yeah, because it's a once per game for that. Next. It uh, ran out of. Go juice. I'm gonna do glamour of zinch on them. All right. Warp charge seven. I got it with a twelve. And you periled. Yes, I will be periling. For one. Oh. So, yay, glamour of zinch. Okay, jumping behind. I am going to now do gaze of fate. Which. I'm not sure I got. I think that's a six. Gaze of Fate is a six, so it did not go off. You don't have a plus one? No, not on him. He's just... Ah, all right. Darn, the one I could have countered. Okay, and now he is going to cast Prescience on them. This is a warp charge seven. Total of a 12. <laughs> so they all get plus one to hit until the start of my next psychic phase. Do you have any more? Uh... Yeah, I have one more. Okay. Boon of Mutation on himself. Of course, why not? This is a Warp Chart 7, which I get with a 9. And sure, why not? I'll try and deny that. You got a 9. I got a 9. I needed a 10. Damn it. High Magister plus 1 to Psychic Tests. <sighs> Alright, and... So what happens? Rolling on the table. 16. Well, or... 7. 7. Seven! Your eyes open, choose a boon. I want to take plus one psychic power. Of course you are. So that is esoteric insight. So that's plus one to all psychic tests. Fair enough. So on to shooting then. On to shooting. 
Okay, starting the shooting phase, the Halbert is going to fire his multi melta 24 inch range, into the front of that truck. So one shot, hitting on a three. Hit. It is strength eight. I'm going to go with it's probably got a toughness greater than four, so I'll be wounding it on threes. That is wounding, and I have AP minus four on the multi melta. Okay. All right, so uh, with that uh, AP minus four, I've got no save, but with ramshackle on a D6, I can turn my D6 into a one. So let's see if that happens. I guess I'll roll first, or yeah. do you? It... Either which way, like, might as well just do yours anyway. All right, so there we go. I didn't get a six, I got a one. Okay, and then- Hopefully you roll the same. D6 damage, three. Yeah. So he's got three damage on him. Okay. Now on to the next shooting. I I think I might just pump all of the infernal bolters into that. Into the truck? Yeah. Alrighty then. More boys I'll have to see who's in rapid fire against the truck. Alrighty then. Okay, next to shoot will be these Rubric Marines. Uh, four are going to rapid fire into the truck. Four more are going to rapid fire into the boys. And the Soul Reaper cannon is going to go into the boys as well. So, start off with the four going into the truck. Because the prescience hitting on twos. Yeah, didn't need it. Wounding on fives. For two. Hmm. With an AP minus two. So two six ups. Alright then, two six ups. Nope. And they each do one damage? Yep. Alright, so. That's Ramshackle doesn't count. No. Yeah. So you have a total of five damage dealt to that. Yep. The next four are going to put it into the boys. All right. Same thing. Eight shots from rapid fire hitting on twos. So far, haven't needed rapid fire. Not rapid fire, um, prescience. Prescience. And with a tough of four, I need force to wound. That's five. Five with AP minus two. So they get no they get main no, save. No main save, even the guys in the crater. But you they do get the six up mad doc. Just the one or well, would it for, be for each, each? Yeah, for each wound. All right, so five six ups. Two hey. survive. So three die. It's pretty good. That's like 15 less attacks, possibly. Yep. Haven't gotten them down past uh, 20 yet, so. And now the Soul Reaper cannon into them. That'll do it. Four shots hitting on twos. Oh, a straight up miss. Oh no. And wounding on threes because it's strength five. Yeah. And once again, no save because it's AP minus three. All right, so three six ups. Mm -hmm. From the dock. Three more die. Damn it, there goes green tide. Pull your three. And screw it, you three. Okay, and then lastly, for shooting, will be him. He's going to rapid fire into that as well. The truck. With his Inferno Combi Walter. Four shots, hitting on threes. Wounding on fives. Nothing. That would have been nothing against the orcs. <laughs> Okay. And that's all you're shooting? I think that is all of my shooting. I actually I might get a couple shots from him. He might just be in range. Alrighty then. And yes, that sorcerer and terminator armor is in range to get some shots off into those boys. So two shots hitting on threes. Well about that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that is the end of my shooting phase. Are you going to charge? Ah you're gonna long ball it. Uh, I have that eight inch charge to make it in. Might as well, because you're gonna definitely charge on your turn. Yep. So, yeah, the Angors are going to declare a charge. Okay, I have six inch pistols. I can't overwatch. It's fair enough. It's, I'd love to, but I don't, I can't. Okay, eight inch charge. Wait, actually, I have I have one thing that can, the uh, the one knob. Oh, with his custom shooter? With his custom shooter. Well, but okay. you, you make it. I make a nine inch And there's inch no charge. way I'm killing all of them um, yeah. with the custom, but I might as well. Shoot that. On second thought before he moves everything, and uh, I do not actually get to shoot. Is due to Glamour of Zinch reducing my... Uh, all to hit rolls by one, so yep. 
Overwatch requiring sixes, and he has nothing that gives him a plus one to hit. So, I have no Overwatch. Oh well. Here they come. Here they come. Alright, and after their charge ending up like so, ready to begin the fight phase. Since I have no other charges to declare. Go straight on the fight where I'm going to do a three inch pile in. Fair enough. Alright, and with that pile in, I got a total of 11, twist, uh, 11 Zangor in. One of them being my twist bray. I'm going to go ahead and make that one my twist bray because it was one of the two flag guys and I didn't say which one earlier. So and fly guy with gold horns. For reference, because I didn't say earlier, the one with the boss pole is my boss knob. Mm -hmm. So with all of them in, I have a total of 23 attacks. Alrighty then. So 23 attacks hitting on threes. Nice corner three, three, or edge three. Four, five, six, seven misses. Eight, Eight misses. misses. So 15 hits. And fours to win, because they're strength four. That does not look like too many, though. One, two, three. Three. Wow, that was pretty bad. All right, any AP? Yep, AP minus one for the Zangor Blades. Okay, so, so the Pain Boy six up. Yep, Pain Boy six ups. Three more boys God go damn down. it, Pain Boy. Hey, he saved a couple so he, he far. He did save a couple. He saved two. Mm -hmm. Three more. Yeah, I'll pull from, no, I don't want to pull from back there. Those three. Mm -hmm. And then I'll go ahead and do my three inch consolidation. I'll just move more guys in. Yeah. All right, so time for the uh, orcs to attack back. I already uh, moved them all up uh, to pile in. Pile in. So I, I'm starting with my just orc boys. Get 33 attacks, hitting on fours. Because of glamour is inch. Because of glamour is inch. <laughs> Otherwise, it would be threes. Yep. So here's 30 attacks, and I'll roll these other three separate because I only have this many dice. Ooh, right, so. And here's three misses from that group. Just, just gonna roll real quick. Two. Two hit. So let's see. Doop, doop. Doop, doop, doop. Saved like five hits, so can't Ooh. argue with Glamour and Zinge. Yeah, definitely. Still hit with a good chunk. Of that, that is a pretty sizable chunk. Not bother actually counting. And wounding and on fours. Wounding on fours. Let it go. One fell. So all these ones are just right out. Let's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven possible wounds. I don't know if that's actually eleven now. It is eleven. Cool. So 11 5 up in vaults. Uh, I see two. Yay! So, one, two, so nine three, die. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Oh, he pulled the bard. I might have pulled both. Who knows? No, I think I still see one in there. But anyway. That should be the end of your turn. Yes. Do either of us have to worry about leaderships? Absolutely. Oh, goody. So I've got the Inspiring Leadership Warlord trait. So that's plus one, two, two three, four, five, my what, seven? Nine, you lost nine, guys. So your mob rule, your leadership 11. All right. So leadership 12, you lost nine. So three or lower, you're fine. Sweet. Let's do me then. So three or lower. I got a five. So two, two more. more. Flee. Boop and boop. Yeah, why not? So two for me. How many for you? Uh, do you have any sort of like breaking heads, keeping order things in that oh, unit? Um, so unfortunately, the only thing with breaking heads is uh, this group and. That group that's in the truck, and both are way too far away and or in a truck. Yep. And then the Zangors lost nine with a leadership of seven, so they're going to lose a D6 plus two. 
So six more. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Huh, all right. Good job, guys. And that should be end of turn, your turn one, on to my turn one. All right, so my turn to uh, roll for the Entropic Storm. Uh, this one's going to be my ones digit. This one's going to be my tens. Let's find out what happens. 44. Woo! Uh, Conduit of the Inmaterium. Sounds like fun. Conduit of the Inmaterium, select a random psyker on the battlefield. That psyker immediately manifests one psychic power it knows as if it were the psychic phase. No psychic test is necessary. No deny the witch can be made. After resolving, resolving it, that Psyker suffers a Perils of the Warp. Okay, so you are more likely to have this occur to you as you have more Psykers. Mm -hmm. So make yours ones and two, and then three and four will be my non-Warlord one. No, I have four. So one being your guy, two being my Aspiring Sorcerer, three being that um, Sorcerer that's injured, and then four five being the... And re-roll sixes. And re-roll sixes. All right. Three. Three. So, that guy. That guy right there. Gets to pop one of his psychic powers without needing to roll it. Now, here comes a question. What about smite? Let's roll 2d6. If you get 11 or 12, it's d6. That is a good question. But I'd go with this. He automatically perils, so would it not assume that you're going with two sixes? That's a way to look at it. Comment community, let me know. Let, let us know. Is there a rule for that somewhere? or Because uh... if there's not, and it doesn't say you can't choose smite, so I'm just going to go ahead and do a D6 mortal wounds onto your orc boy squad. Fair enough. I hope you roll a one. Five. Ah, five dead. Well, you oh, have your oh, five six nice, up. nice dots. All right, then. Five six ups then from the mad doc tools. Not nope, one. Not five die. Damn. Now there's four not in the melee. Yep, that's unfortunate. So I'll pull those and then uh, do my move phase. Well, hold on. I need a perils. Oh, yes. Periling on him for two. So that is a total of three mortal wounds he has taken. Uh, only via perils thus far. Yeah. I right, so orc turn one movement. I had all my orc boys are still in combat. My weird boy has moved over. My pain boy has moved up and around, getting her ready for a charge. These guys have all moved up and are ready to shoot as much as they can with the guns they have. The truck has moved up, ready to shoot. And all of my mega knobs have disembarked, moved, and are ready for shooting and charging. Yep. As they do. So, on to Psychic Phase, where I'm doing, uh, I can only cast one spell at a time, so Warpath. It is a seven. So if I make this, they get, hey, I made it. All right. Seven. I will attempt to deny with the guy that has plus two to Psychic yeah. tests. Yeah. Well, I, Shiza. I didn't need it, and I got a 10. Oh, no! Damn it. Why you do this? Why you do this? They're dead anyway. Why you do this? I, I want maybe the slim chance my at least one Zangor survives the turn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to right. deny you first blood. Uh, in that case, on to shooting. Uh, I guess I'll start with the truck over there first. I've got three shots going into... Let's go with the Wounded Psyker. Fair enough. Uh, hitting on fives. Sixes. Because you advanced, remember? Get an extra three ah, inches. I forgot. I did advance three inches for that guy. So, yes. Hitting on sixes. Two hits. Two hits. There we go. We yeah. Threes. You need a wound. Yeah, I do need a wound. Wounding on threes. Yeah, I got one. And any AP? 
No. No AP. Okay. Two up save. You made it. Termi armor. No. Don't have Termi armor. I've got t-shirt armor. Got some Terminator armor over here. Ah, you suppose. have technically one more Terminator than me. That's fair enough. Uh, next on to the Mega Knobs. Starting their shooting with the Scorches, finding out how many hits I get. Pretty nice. Don't like well, the one, but I still like it. Command points. I do have command points. Um, do you want to use your... Oh, would, would you mind looking at the... Chapter approved. Daka daka daka. Oh wait, never mind. That is a uh, one CP, but I don't want to use it right here. I'd only get one more attack. Well, it wouldn't matter for that because that's not rolling to hit. Yeah, uh, and that's the only one that would matter there. What about the shooters? No, minus one to hit. Never mind. Yeah. All right. So uh, next is going to be the shooters, and because I shot both the combi uh, weapons. I'll be, getting, I'll be hitting on sixes. I got one. And I'll just roll this one now. It's a strength four. Versus tough. Four. So, so sweet. There we go. And a two up save. Made it. Now you're 12, 12 strength five flamers. With AP minus one. So, oh, nope. That doesn't count. Uh, wounding on five? No, sorry, fours? Or what is your toughness? I never actually paid attention. <laughs> Four, so you're wounding on threes. All right, wounding on threes. Sweet. Ten. Okay, and then ten three-ups against those Scorchos. It looks like five are going to go down. Sweet. And that's all for them. Next, I'm actually going to do this group because they all have pistols. All right, so them shooting with their pistols, one shot each, wounding, or sorry, skipped a step, uh, hitting on fives. Yep. Ah, I got three. Not bad. And I'm guessing strength four for the use of yep. forced so, to wound. Forced to wound. Not no. a one. Oh, well. Worth a shot. And now onto these guys. Next onto the knobs on bikes, shooting at that psyker there. And for all of their shooting, I'm gonna be using the uh, Orcish command, uh, daka daka daka, which basically means that anytime I roll a six, that results in one more attack made for mm -hmm. when I roll to hit. So starting with the daka guns, I've got 18 dice hitting on fives. Really? I see one five and one six. Re so from the Daka guns come three attacks. Oh, no, four. There's another five. Yes. So four total attacks from that. You have to make another shooting attack. I have to make another shooting attack. All right. Sorry about that. So one more. Nope. Oh my god. The amount of fours right here. The, a, a plus any, any other army. Would have hit quite a lot. A plus one to hit would have been amazing just then. Oh my guys. god. That would have been beautiful. Oh well. Sad face. Uh, next is going to be the custom shooters. Which is 12 shots. Yep. So next is the uh, custom shooters with uh, 12 dice going in, hitting on fives. Still with the sixes grant extra attacks. So two extra, so two extra attacks. Two go through, and let's see if those two convert. Hey, four, two more extra extra attacks. So six. There we go. For a total of, let's see, three, six, nine hits. Well, your weapons have different strengths. Shiza. You had three from the strength five one. So three from the uh, Daka guns. Wounding on threes. So. All right, so two possible wounds. And from the custom shooters with their strength four, 
wound. That's wounds. cocked. Yeah, it's definitely cocked. That's... So, one wound. Oh. So, uh, two two-ups from the, you know what, that's like all just two-up yeah, saves. Yeah, they're all. All two-up saves. Poop. You tried. You did. And that's all shooting. Charges um, to clear. Charging in. Mm -hmm. Charging in. Um, can't charge, isn't charging, and can't, so. Better question, multi-charging or just charging? I am... Is he the only one in that, in that group? No, there's... One, two, three, four, five? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll multi-charge. I'll, I'll try and get both of these guys. Okay. So, I have a bunch of Overwatch over there, then. Yup! And then no overwatch over here. Because so we're already in melee. I'll no, no, also in melee. I'm just going to roll that one real quick because okay. it doesn't affect anything. And you didn't get double one. No, I didn't. I got a 10. So he's just going to go all the way over in the middle. Here. And now for your overwatch. All right. So starting overwatch with the rubric marines. There are six rapid fire shots coming from the inferno bolters. I still have prescience on. So plus oh, one to hit. It. So... Needing fives to hit. I got me two hits. Uh, what is the toughness of these mega knobs? Tough four. So they'd be looking for fours to wound with those two. Nothing. Ooh. And then four from the Soul Reaper cannon, hitting on fives and sixes. Two hits. Wounding on threes. Both Ooh. of them. AP minus three on that. Ugh. Which they have turns your two ups up. to uh, five ups. All right, so two five ups. That's that, two. I've moves. been really bad with my saves. Well, it's orcs. I know, but still. So some one of them takes two wounds. There you go. Whether or not that kills them, I don't know. I think they've got three. They had three and seven. They did not have three and seven. They did not have three and seven. No. And then he's going to fire his. He does not have prescience, so needing sixes to hit with his Infernal Combi Volter. He hits two. Damn. And wounding on fours. One with an AP minus two. So one four up. Goes God three. damn it. So that's three damage done. Yep. We'll see if that kills one. They have three wounds. That is One is kill, dead. Kill one of them. And I'm out of range for the warp flame pistol. Alrighty then. So, do they make it into charge? Yes. They, they do. Yeah. How do you want to move them in? Just all on that first Um, guy? eight inches. So let's just let's do it like that. Okay. Right, so starting with this combat, I'm gonna break up my attacks a little bit, having two on this guy and four on that guy. So starting with the two, uh, I've got two possible hits. Hitting on fours, it has unwieldy weapons, okay. both hit, wounding on, did you say twos for? because yeah, you're strength 10. Yep, twos, both, go, both through. go through, hooray. And then five up involves, block one of them. All right. That's going to be one of these guys dead. So. All right, cool. Because if you do D3, it's still, they only have one HP. And then four going into your... Big Psyker with the stick. Mm -hmm. So hitting on fours. Oh. Two. Wounding on twos. Twos. Ooh. Two. Two four up involves. I make both. Oh, come on. No. Even if there were five up involves, I made them. Ah, oh, sad face. Next is going to be the Pain Boy attacking the Zangors with his Erdy Syringe. Um, doing four attacks, hitting on threes. Four hits. Nice. I, I wish I had that over there, but oh well. And uh, wounding on twos because the Erdy Syringe always wounds on twos unless I'm attacking a vehicle. So three wounds. Three five ups. Three more go down. 
Uh, you rolled all fives and sixes anyway, because they still have Glamour of Zeech on. Um. Uh, that was just me re realizing that. For to hit or yeah, to I, that's yeah hit, yeah, you yeah it was all fives, fives and, and sixes, sixes. anyway. Uh, I made him that, so I'll pull. I think there might have been like a four, but I'm hitting on threes. I'll pull these three, so your Grot orderly can't attack. Oh damn! You're, we're running him as the same model. Yep. We didn't give the token. So oh well. Pull the three that are in base contact. Sad face. Um. So he's done attacking. Now it moves on to my next unit, which is going to be your boys. Which is my boys. All right. So next onto the orc boys. Hitting on fours with 21 attacks. Ooh. Missed. Nine. And wounding on more fours. What was that one? That's a two. So just. Four wounds. Well, this is probably going to do it, so four, five ups. Yep, that is enough to do two. Yay! First blood. Doesn't matter for this engagement because all that matters is holding the objective. And uh, then it's on to your attacks back. Yes. I need to do some piling in and then I'll attack back. Okay, and fighting back, the rubrics pile in. Those guys just kind of descend three inches down the building. And the two put their two attacks in, hitting on threes. No, hitting on twos because the prescience is still on. Yes. Wounding on fours. Here you go. You're two up safe because no AP. Okay. Two up. Yay, thank you. And then the big guy. Four staff, three attacks, hitting on threes. One. Uh, wounding on a three. Okay, AP minus one. So four up. No, three up. Six. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> on to your turn, turn two then. Yep. Okay, start of turn two, generating a new Entropic Storm event, uh, black dice being ones. 46. 46. And Tropic Mastery. That's Ooh. another persistent one. This will have probably something to do with uh, psychic powers. Probably. Uh, Reroll failed the psychic tests and deny the witch tests. Yeah. Pretty solid. Yeah. So on to your movement then. All right, movement for turn two. The only thing to move is this sorcerer and terminator armor moved up towards the objective. Fair enough. All right, on and to psychic. psychic. I am going to spend one command point and pop a spell familiar on him. I am going to get rid of infernal gaze on him and give him uh, time manipulation. Ooh. And then I'm going to over there do the off of the regular ah, aspiring sorcerer. The guy in the building. The gaze of fate. Needing a six. No, you perils. Okay. But but I can reroll. You can reroll because of the entropic event. Yes, I can reroll failed. Which you didn't make it. Still doesn't but make you it. Didn't perils. Didn't perils. Okay. Uh <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> yeah. And then he's going to go ahead and smite these guys. Fair enough. For uh, 11, which is going to be a d6. Do you want to try to deny? You're within uh, 24. You I need boxcars, but you get reroll. Reroll. Oh. Okay. It's worth a shot. D6 mortal wounds. Four. Four. So that is one dead and one with one mortal wound. Oh, yeah, never mind. You couldn't have denied it. I had a plus three to that. So I'd have, I had a third, I had a 15. Oh, wow. Crap. Um, 14. Then, 
can I, would yeah, you yeah. allow me to deny, yeah. deny something else? You can deny something else. Sweet. Because I forgot he gets plus three on his first one. Ugh. Because uh, familiar, high, um, all his be yeah. his benefits. So now he's going to boon a mutation himself. Fair enough. Uh, with a plus two. You got it with a nine. That I will try. Okay. Didn't get it, so you get but a reroll. But reroll. Yes. Got a nine, you needed a ten. Damn it. So I got a nine. That happened again. Yes, so. Seven, I've already gotten a seven, so I get to pick a different one. Alrighty then. Alright, and I'm going to choose to go with Aura of Illusion. That is minus one to all hit rolls against him in the fight phase. So anyone that targets him has minus one to hit. Sad fight. face. Uh, anyone else? Yeah. That guy. He's going to go ahead and use temporal manipulation on himself. Fair enough. Hold on. I need to look up the number of temporal uh, manipulation. Manipulation. I think it's a seven, but I want to double check. Temporal manipulation is only a six, so I need a five. Got it? You got it. And then he restores D3 wounds on himself for three. So he's back to full. Damn it. And then his last psychic thing he's going to do is going to pop Glamour of Zinch on himself. And he gets it. Damn. So, minus one to all hits against him. Ugh. Alright, well, your shoot phase next. Yep. Alright, on to shooting. Fired the multi melta at that. Once again, hitting on a three. Ooh, no. No special rerolls or anything for him. Right. What about that guy? He is going to go ahead and sink four rapid fire rounds into the bikes. So, hitting on threes. Three hits. Wounding on fives. One wound with an AP minus two. All right. So you're six up because you have a four up on the base. Six up. Ah, I would have made one, the four up. Made one point of damage. All right. There you go. On the far lefty one. Okay. Uh, that is it for shooting. All right. On the melee. Yay! I was about to ask who you're starting with first, or are you charging anyone? No, there's no charges. All right, so on to over there. Mm -hmm. You have what? You still have two command points left? I, I have one. You have one? I used Daka 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 and... Ah, and a reroll. E no. So you, you have I, two? I have two. Okay. So that will matter. I will do my uh, Psyker first then. In case you want to spend two command points to interrupt before. I don't think I am, but go ahead. So, Psyker. I don't think he's dead. Three attacks into that guy. Hitting on threes. Ooh, only one. One. Wounding on a three. No. No. Oh, okay. All right, you guys. I'm not going to intercede. I want to use the points on something else. Yeah. Two attacks. Hitting on threes. All right, I'm going to put all three of my attacks into... Big guy. Why not? Okay. Uh, no, uh, into the uh, Marines. Okay, so you're hitting on fours. Yep, hitting on fours. One hit. Ah. Wounding on two. two. Got it. Five up in vault. Nope. Beep. Got one. And that's it for melee. Yep. And also the end of my turn. Yes, on to my turn, turn two. Alright, so my turn, time to generate a new entropic event. So this is going to be the tens, this is going to be the ones. 61! Terrors of the Warp. Persistent. Ooh, this sounds like a fun one. Hmm. Each Psyker suffers a peril of the warp. Uh, each time a Psyker suffers a peril of the warp, it is D6 instead of D3. Ugh. So any failed psychic tests are D6. Well, not failed, it's perils. So Yeah, it's perils. So that should be interesting. Or just not happen at all. All right, so orc movement for turn two. I had this whole puddle uh, pile up and then move forward with the characters in the middle. The bikers moved up just a little bit to be able to shoot at. Uh, actually, no, they're not going to shoot at that. To shoot at that big thing way in the back. The truck has stayed put, and it's just going to shoot the big thing in the back. 
And he's still in combat, so didn't move. Mm -hmm. So then on to Psychic. I am... Warpath? Uh, Warpath, Smite... I'm going to try Warpath again. See if it works on that group of uh, Orc boys. Mm -hmm. Ten. I'm pretty sure you're... And now it's at 24 for him, so... I'm pretty sure, so it's just that guy there. You need an 11. Didn't get it. You can reroll? Oh, I can reroll. Got a 10. So close. So plus one attack for all the work boys. Yes! Glorious. Um, then on to shooting. I guess I'll start with uh, these guys. I just need to gather dice. With the uh, shots of all three of these guys going into that big Hellbrute. monstrosity of a Hellbrute, uh, Tom has uh, given me information that it won't matter which guns I'm using for strength and hitting, uh, or for like wounding, so I'm just going to roll all everything all at once. So, hitting on fives with 30 dice. Ah, I should have said daka 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 before I rolled. Oh, yeah, that. Damn it! I, I wanted to do it, but I didn't say it, and as I was rolling, I was like, damn it. So, mm -hmm. oh well on my part, because there's a lot of sixes! Alright, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Nine hits. Nine hits. Could have been. Maybe a, a more. Wounding on. You said fives. fives. Okay, you're cocked. Yeah, one cocked. Three. So, three possible wounds. To the hell brute. And he has a three up save. One damage. Yay! Of his eight wounds. Damn it! I should have done daga daga daga. Damn it! Oh well. Uh, next is going to be the big gun over there, the big shooter. Mm -hmm. Three shots, hitting on fives. Nope. Nope. And I don't think I'm in range for anything there except for uh, this guy who mm -hmm. definitely can shoot. Uh, What's the range on a stick bomb? Probably six. Have to look yeah. it up. All right, so starting with the seven pistols here that I've now realized are 12 inches uh, for range. So hitting on fives? No. Sixes. Sixes Remember, so because of your zinch thing. Eh, got one. Wounding on your tough four. So, yay, got him. Two up. Damn it. And lastly, the Scorcha from the guy up front. Boss knob. Five shots. Five shots. Nice. Now wounding on threes. Yep. Wounding on threes. Two. And AP minus one, so three ups. Well, damn. And uh, that's all the shooting I can make. So, no, he doesn't have it. He doesn't actually have a gun. So, I'm charging you. With the boys. With the boys. Okay. Overwatching the Infernal Combi. Sorry. Yeah, Inf Infernal Combi Walter. Hitting on sixes. No. Oh, and because you kind of ran me off there, I'm also charging with him. But boys are first, so. Yeah. You need like a five or six inch charge. Yep. How many easy? Here we go. Just to actually, let's measure it and then find out. Yeah, because I think here we go only kicks off when failed anyway. Okay. All right. So I didn't make it with a five, so I am using here we go. Well, I see if at least a five. I so. got a seven. <laughs> so that's enough to get the front at least couple into base. Yes. And then I'll roll for uh, my uh, pain boy. Seven as well. Seven. I might get him in. Maybe. Yeah, let's, let's find out. All right. So uh, he ended up that the pain boy did not make it in. There they are. And now I got to do the pile in for three inches. Yes. All right. So here are my uh, boys all piled in. I've got six that made it into direct uh, or it close enough to hit him. So that's going to be 
24 attacks because of Warpath, hitting on... Fours. Fours. Ah, yes. So, too bad that Daka 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 does not affect hitting. Yes, it'd be much better in hitting than it would be in... Uh... And by hitting, I mean, like, punching. Yeah. Melee. Melee, that's it. That almost looks like half. Yeah, much about. And wounding on... Fours. Yay, fours. fours. Alright, well, one, two, three. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There you go. With no AP, ten two ups. Well, poop. Alright, and I've got four left from my boss knob. Mm -hmm. Hitting on fours. fours. Actually, would he get an extra attack? Because he's yeah. part of that unit. Yeah, oh, yeah, he has three base and... Sorry, bliff. Three base plus one. Yep. Two hit, wounding on... A three is because he's strength five. And a two up. Hey! hey. Hooray. I did a thing. Mm -hmm. Now it's time for you to attack... Back. Oh, no it's not. No it's not. Got uh, uh, him over there. Yes. His three attacks. Before I can attack back over there. And he's going to attack your other. The guys again. Um. Yeah, why not? So, three attacks. Okay, on fours. Two hits. Wounding on two twos. Two possible wounds. Two five ups. Okay. I've made one, so another dead. Yep, yeah, cool. The last regular dude. And... Now my attack bounce. Yep. Which do you want to start with? This group or that group? Oh, uh, it doesn't matter. I'll start with the one over here, though. I'll start with the sorcerer swinging in his three attacks, hitting on threes. Two hits. Wounding on threes. One. AP minus one, so you're three up. Three up. Got it. One attack from the regular dude, hitting on a three, wounding on a four. Here, two up. Two up. Okay. Over here into the boys. Three attacks, hitting on threes. These all hit. All right. Well, wounding on threes. These all wound. That's three dead boys. Damn. If you minus one, oh. there's. Nope, pain boys way over there. Out of, yeah, out of the three inch bubble. He has a three inch bubble. Oh, yeah, he's a three inch bubble. So that's. Three dead. Yep. Eight one, minus one. Two and three. Uh, and that's the end of my turn two. Onto your turn three. Do, yes. They lost three. three. Their leadership seven, because I think that's the highest the knob gets. We forgot a morale. When? When you killed five of mine via psychic at the start. Um yeah, All right, well. Alright, oh, whoops. So morale here. Yep. You lost three, so fours and below, you're fine. It's one dice. Alright, four and below. You're fine. Yay, I'm fine. And yeah, on to your turn three. Okay, movement phase for turn three. Fell back with the rubric marines. There's no reason to keep them in that melee anymore. They're slowly whittled, being whittled down, so get them out of there. Speaking of getting out, I'm going to fall back onto the objective and pick it up because I'm ending my movement in base contact. And I moved him forward to, you know, say goodbye to those orcs. Yep. Uh, which brings me on to my psychic phase. Where we are no longer re-roll... Oh, i got to generate my thing. Yep. Alright, Entropic Treble, the black being ones again. 23. 23. Psychic Apotheosis. Randomly select one character in your army. Uh, if that character is not a Psyker, it becomes a Psyker. Uh. Uh, that is not a Psyker. I don't have any non character Psykers in my army. Huh. And that's just for your side. 
Yeah. It's not for like the whole table. Select one character in your army. Okay. Uh. Well, nothing happens. Uh, yep. Oops. Helbert, do you have the character? No, you do not. <laughs> that suddenly becomes terrifying. Psychic Helbert? That'd be fucking amazing. Oh God. It would only know Smite, but it'd still be hilarious. <laughs> I feel like it should only know Smite. <laughs> yeah. All right. So anyway, continuing where we were. Going over the psychic phase, I'm gonna do the aspiring sorcerer once again, going for gaze of fate. I'm getting it. Do you wanna to try tonight? You are within uh, 24. I am. All right. You need a 10. And I can no longer re do re rolls. So this, this gives me a free re roll for my turn if you let it through. Yeah. Why not? Let's... Did not. <sighs> Saw that five. Okay. Um. Smite. Fair enough. And that's him gone, probably. That is the D3. Plus three, that would be a 10. No, it'd still be one short. So, D3, two. And He's that dead. Is enough to finish him off. Blair. Freeing up my. I should have left the other guys in there because then they could just shot because they're not falling back. Yeah. Oh, wells. Uh, he's gonna do Boon Mutation on himself. Fair enough. He got it. Oh, he definitely got it. With an 11. And, and a 6. Seven. Yes, 6. I can count. Which is, I think, one I've already had via the, um, I think the, that's the plus one psychic one. And I got that through the other means. Okay, and because 6 is one that I've already had, I choose the one that gives him plus three movement, Temporal Distortion. Sounds like a plan. So now, eight movement for the guy in Terminator armor. Yeah, definitely catch me up. All right, so that's those psychers on to him. Uh, yeah, uh, he's going to go ahead and do the temporal manipulation on himself. Heal that one point. Which he will get because of the plus one familiar. So he gets his one wound back. Boop. And... There's still going to be a lot of things shooting at him, so the uh, Glamour Azinch. Uh, he won't get that. No. I could use the one reroll, but it's not really worth it. All right. All right, on to shooting time. Starting out the shooting phase with my Hell Brute. He is going to multi melt at that and Heavy Flamer into the Orc Boys. Fair enough. multi melt into that, hitting on a four. Yeah, it's a miss. Would you like to reroll? No. Uh, heavy Flamer into the Orc Boys. For one. I will use my one for that to get more. Fair enough. Five. Yeah. It's a, a vast improvement. That, it is definitely a vast improvement. Wounding on threes. Yep. And that is three dead Orc Boys because of AP minus one. Yep. Who else is shooting? Uh, is well, it just him? Well, he's going to shoot, but I need to see which guys he pull. Oh. All right, in that case, hold on. So three are dead. Yes. So... Well, I think your knob has two wounds, so you could pull two and put one onto your knob. Ah, you're right. So... Pull those two, and... Could you pass me that? There we go. One on my knob. Okay. Uh... Since you left those, I'm just going to shoot them. Bah. Okay. Three attack, uh, four attacks hitting on threes. Three hits. Wounding on fours. That's the dead knob. Yep, because AP minus two. Boop. Okay, and that leaves the last to shoot is this guy all the way into the back of your... Weird boy. Weird boy. Two shots hitting on threes. Wounding on fours. One, and you have no save. I don't think he even has an invul. I think he has a six up t shirt. That's it. Yeah, just with an AP minus t shirt. With an AP minus two that goes through that, you have your six up. Um, pain boy. Pain boy. Nope. Take one more damage. No. Okay. Um, are you charging? Yeah, absolutely. 
help, <laughs> yep, absolutely. help root into the remainder boys. All right, so that's two sluggas. Can I throw stick bombs as Overwatch? Yes, but you can only throw one grenade in a phase. So. Okay. So, the two pistols hitting on sixes. Yeah, I got one. Wounding on, what, five? Yeah, strength, uh, tough seven. Hey, got it. Three up. He's fine. No. Oh. And the one stick bomb. But which would have placed one of the pistol shots? Because oh. pistol is you can only ever fire a pistol. If you choose to fire a pistol, that's the only weapon you can fire. Ah, guy. never mind. I forgot about that. So just the two pistols then, because right. it's already happened. And charge distance four. That actually might not be enough. Because hmm. you're in yeah the terrain. Minus two. Okay, and with a quick measurement and the fact that I'm in a crater. That is not enough to make it in. Nope. I needed a five to get within one inch. Yep. However, if that's the end of your turn, I think I might lose those two anyway. You lost three, their leadership six. So, so three or below, you'd be fine. Uh, no, yeah, I fell back. Never mind. Yeah. Three or below. Three. I'm fine. They're somehow sticking it in. Actually, I fell back. Add your knob back. I couldn't have shot. Remember, oh. fall back onto the objective, put your knob back. With his one wound. There we go. Yeah. There. And that is the end of my turn then. Cools. Alright, so my turn three. Yep. Um, I'm going for the entropic event. So Tens place, ones place, 21. 21, warp surge. All psychic powers ranges are doubled. Meh, all right. That kind of benefits you more than it does me. 36 inch range smite. Yeah, ow. That's an ow. Yeah. Well, that's, that's you. Yeah. Mine's 48. Ow. Because of Brotherhood of Psyker adding six inches to it, and it's right. doubled. Well then, on to my turn. So, orc movement. Literally everything is going, no, that's our shiny bobble. So, moved over, is ready to charge, is going to shoot. Moved over, ready to do psychic, and charge and sh you, don't you, you don't have any shooting. Going to shoot, going to shoot and charge. They might charge. So, uh, on to Psychic first. I'm just going to cast uh, Smite. There. So. Well, it goes off. Um. Are you close enough with your one guy with the plus however many, or does that not matter? Oh, damn it. Uh, it's a D6 because it still hasn't. It's a D6 because it hasn't come back to my uh, turn to generate a new one. Damn it. No, wait, no, never mind. Uh, la my last turn I did Apotheosis, which would have made a Psyker. Oh, yes, you're right. Yeah, that was for turn two. Okay, so it is still just a D3. Yes. Um, either way, I have perils. Hit! Are you close enough with your Uber Psyker? It's, okay. It is two feet. Yes. With his plus two. So, a 10 or box cars. Uh, 11 or box cars. Uh, 11 or box cars. No. Ooh. All right. Well, you got the. I got a psychic power off. Yep. All right, before I roll the damage, I'm just going to do perils real quick. There we go. That's three. Which yeah, your guy uh, probably dies, dies. So. Which means your power goes out. It does? Yeah. That was in a, the thing. I, we, I ended up looking up afterwards. If you die from your own perils, your psychic power doesn't go off. Damn it! And he would explode. Balls. All right, well, what is that, D6? Or uh, does he just explode? I think he does D3 to everything around him. Within and that's just range. purely perils, or? That, that's from Perils of the Warp. Huh. If you die from doing Perils of the Warp, you explode. Should have moved him closer to you. Uh, Perils of the Warp. 
If you roll a double one or double six while taking a psychic test, you immediately suffer perils of the warp. The psyker suffers D3 mortal wounds as the force of demon haunted warp claws his mind. If the psyker is slain by a perils of the warp, the power they were attempting automatically fails. Each unit within six inches suffers D3 mortal wounds. As a question, can I do the six up saves from the pain boy? Actually, that's a fair thing, yeah. I would say, yeah, because so you, you need to make two, because he's only got four wounds. Yes. You didn't, I didn't make, make any. All right, so pop goes the weasel. And, and you only had one command point left over anyway. Yeah. So. Which I suppose I could have used to... It's too late now. So I think he popped. If I need to roll for it, no, he, no, he just he, does. he automatically pops. Everything within six inches takes D3. So Ow. that's going to be probably everything. Yeah. So. D let's go with just left to right. D3. One. Takes one. Uh, that unit. Okay. D3. One. One. So, so that's, that's just, a dead oh, that's a dead mob. Uh, D3. Two. Two. Which is so a that's dead, a dead biker and possibly pain boy. One over. One. one. Let's move that over to him and D3 your guy. Two. So you need to look up your bikers and see if they have two or three. Yes. All right, well, after that, on to shooting. So starting over here, just going to go around the circle. Three shots from the big shooter, hitting on fives. Two. Got two. Wounding on Three. threes. Hey. Uh, I do believe the big shooter has an AP of minus one, so three ups. He takes one. Uh, next, onto the two orc boys. I'm gonna have one shoot a pistol, five up. Miss. Miss. And then the other stick with bomb. is stick bomb, five up. Well, or, no, 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 it's, it's stick a D6 bomb. D6 number of shots. D6 number of shots, so six. Now these hit in five and sixes. Yes. All right, fives and sixes. Three. Got three, yay. What's the strength of a stick bomb? That's an excellent question. Next is fives to wounds. Oh, well, shit, there we go. Three two ups. Another wound. Yay! He's got one left. And next is the. These guys, which. Hmm. Everything was minus one to hit him. He got that off? Yeah. Wait, no. He got all of his things off. I thought he didn't get the... He got his glamour as each. Alright, so, because I, one, need him dead, and two... No, just one. Um, I'm going to be putting my uh, dual DACA guns into him. And just for rules clarification, because I skipped ahead a bit, we're just going with he has the... Uh, what was your rule? Glamour of Zinch. Glamour of Zinch now. Because I forgot it earlier. Yeah. So, 12 shots into him. Hitting on fives and sixes. Sixes. Glamour of Zinch. Glamour of Zinch, just sixes, so none of them hit. Okay. And because I... Said it. I didn't. You said, said it. Off, I did, you said it off cam, but not. I'm off. putting the rest of the custom shooter things into the big guy back there, hitting on fives. Mm -hmm. I got a five, a six, and a five. So three shots went through. Moving on fives. Moving on fives. One. We got one. Three up. Hey, nothing happened. Um, charges. Trucks going first. Okay. Overwatch. Hitting on sixes. One. Wounding on a five. No. Not surprising. Uh, not a double one. Not a double one. Beep, beep. Let's uh, roll every, everyone else you want to charge and not double ones. All right. Uh, next is Pain Boy. He makes it. Makes it. Next is the two Orc Boys. Makes it. 
and there's no more room to make base well, contact. The relic is technically not a thing. Ah, true. So screw it. Why not? Um, I'll throw them in too. Hey, they made it. It just needs to be within one inch of someone within base contact. Ah, true. So bikes can really flower. Oh, wow. Yeah, they can. Hmm. Anyway, on to uh, melee then. All right, so starting with my truck, going in with three wrecking ball attacks, hitting on sixes because Glamour of Zinch. None go through, unfortunately. Uh, next, I'll go with the Orc Boys, each getting three attacks, so six. Mm -hmm. There we go. Hitting on fours. Hitting on fours. Wait, hitting them? Yes. Sorry. Um, two go through. Wounding on fours. fours. Hey, yeah, got one. Two up. Damn it. Next is the pain boy with his kill saw hitting on fours. Fives. Fives, sorry. Hitting on fives. I got... One. You do have a re-roll. Do you want to use it now to try to hit on a five? It's a one in three chance. You are wounding on twos, and then I have a five up in roll. Uh, why not? That's why not. So I'm I'm now out of command points. Mm -hmm. And wounding on a two up. That's why not. Right there. That is exactly <laughs> why not. So, I still have the bikers. And a Grot Orderly. And let's have the Grot Orderly go in, hitting on a... F it's three base... So be four. I think four? That's enough to hit. It hits. Does it wound on a... I imagine it's strength three. Uh, it's weapon skill is a five, so I've been hitting on a six. Okay. And it's only strength two, so I'll be wounding on sixes. So I missed anyway. Yeah. Grots aren't good. All right, like. so missed with the grot. All right, so now for the war bikers, with their power claws, six attacks, hitting on fives. Oh, got three. Wounded on twos. Wounded on twos. All three. three. My three five up saves. Oh, come on, die. Ooh, I made two of them. Oh, doesn't he have just one wound left? He has one wound left, so... No, I mean, didn't he have one wound yeah. left, or he's got yeah, six? Yeah, he's, he's, he's dead. Okay. Yay! I got him. Mm -hmm. And we gotta put the objective back in there. Right there, waiting for a movement phase for someone to pick it up. Yep. And... While that is the end of my turn, I get a... A shift, a pylon, pylon with only your warbikers because they were the last ones to attack. Eh, true. And it's three inches towards the nearest enemy. Okay, well that's fine. Something like that. Yeah. And on to your turn, turn what four? Yep, four. Oh my god, this feels like turn <laughs> six. six. <laughs> it's, it does. It's been a brutal slugfest. All right, uh, for turn four, here we go with another Entropic, black being ones again. 24. 24 is Warp Tunnel. Ooh. Warp Tunnel, select any unit from your army, but not a vehicle that is more than one inch away from enemy models. Remove it from the battlefield, set it up, set that unit up anywhere on the battlefield nine inches away from an enemy model. That uh, The unit cannot move again during the movement phase, and counts as having moved for any rules purposes, i.e. firing heavy weapons. Otherwise, it can act as normal. All right, so movement, Helbert moved up. Those guys moved out of the building, and after being teleported thanks to a certain warp tunnel, popped up in right front of there, it. But being just outside of nine inches of the last remaining character. No! Being the closest now. He's gonna smite. Yep. On the psychic. Oh, and I can no longer deny. You can no longer deny. 
I'm gonna start off with him doing case of fate. Hey, perils. perils. He hasn't fucking done it once. <laughs> Wait, no, he did it once. All right, so your damage D3, so three, which is the whole unit dead. Oh, hey, <laughs> yay! <laughs> Because <laughs> there's two wounds left in the unit. Nice. All right. Well, that happened. So, uh, sm smite. Oh, plus three to this. Uh, well, that's gonna be the baby smite for D three. Okay. Two. All right. My two six ups. Yep. Nope. nope. Boon of mutation. He gets. Cause it's, and then a four. Which is one I don't think I've had yet. Alright, I don't know if like watching this game feels this way. But this feels like turn seven. seven. Yeah. Oh, oh no, no, that's that's temporal distortion, plus three to movement. So okay, have, so pick have, a new one. Pick a new one. Uh to eeny meeny miny that one. Come on. Uh, prescient foresight. I had gained a six up ignore wounds. All right, fair enough. That leaves one, two, three, four that I haven't generated yet, other than spawn hood and demon hood. <laughs> All right. So, does he have any more? Uh, I smited and did that. No, he's got done his two. All so right, shooting. It. Shooting phase. Uh, I'm going to French roast some orcs, and I'm going to go ahead <laughs> and fire the multi melta into that. All right. So start off with the multi melta. That is a hit. Hey, finally. Uh, I wound on a um, three. That is a wound. And then I roll 2d6 and take the highest for damage. Ooh. Four, which is enough to kill it. All right. And Can then, I use the pain bullet? No, no, only infantry. Only infantry. You do get your ram shackle. Yes, so that's six up. It six up becomes a one. No, nope. that's four Pass damage. That back. And it dies. Does it explode? Uh, let's find out. No. No. How sad. Boof. And then the heavy flamer into the orc boys. D6 number of shots. Three. Three. That's enough to finish them. Three damage. Or three to wound. And that's, you did it. That's enough to finish off the boys. The boys. As I now only have one model that can. Uh, Don't worry. So do I. <laughs> pick. <laughs> True. All right. And speaking of which, he's going to rapid fire his inferno combi bolter into the back of him. Four shots hitting on threes. Wounding on fours. One. And then EP minus two, I think that just goes through your armor. Uh, time for a six up then. Nope. And down goes down. the mad dog. Uh, and at that point, because I can no longer feasibly win, aka I can't hold the point no more, my only option is to kill that and that with two bikes. And, uh, and you're about to charge me with him. Yes. Uh, Do you want to see if I just table you with him? Um, sure, why not? Okay. We've made it this far. Might as well finish the, my, at least the end well, of my turn. At least your turn, yeah. yeah. Alright, so I'm going to declare a charge, obviously. I'm going to declare an overwatch. I'm... Eat yep. plus 12. Oh, hey. Okay. So 20 shots. They're all going to hit on sixes, boomed on fives. And just because it's the number in my hand, I'm doing ten at a time. So sixes for the first batch. Two hits. I got two. And sixes for the second batch. Wow. Once again, I should have. Oh, I don't have any more points left. So two plus five. Five. Seven. That's pretty solid. Not bad. No. And then fives to wound. Fives to wound. Got two. two. Two three ups. Yeah. Yeah. And his uh, can't fail charge. <laughs> he made it. Would you look at that? <laughs> do, 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 do. 
I'd like to think he just kind of pushed his hand into the ground and drifted while running. It's like, this is the fastest I've moved in generations. <laughs> is this what speed is? Right. Or is it white scars? Yeah. All right. So he's got four attacks with his health brute get, fist. Get these out of here. His four attacks with his health brute fist. They're going to be hitting on threes. One. Huh. Um, strength times two, so he's strength 12. Ugh. So, winding on a two. And then AP minus three. S pretty sure that goes through. Your four up armor. Yeah. And it does three damage. That's one dead. Yeah, it just pops a biker. Pops a biker. Pop. Your biker can swing back. Uh, it can. Pile in and swing back. With his three attacks. All right, hitting on fours. fours. One. One, wounding on strength, strength ten, ten. Seven, so threes. Three. And then it was AP minus three, right? I believe so. Okay, uh, six up save then. Nope. nope. How much damage do you do? I think two. Uh, or no, no a D three. Yeah, might be a D three. One. Okay. Uh, so that's definitely going to do one damage. And at the end of the fight phase, uh, the crazed ability kicks off. At the end of any phase where this model loses any wounds, roll a D six on a six. <sighs> no. Nope. Okay. If it had, he would immediately fight as if it was the fight phase. Ah. Calls in and fights as if... Yeah, he, he loses his mind and immediately fights again. Huh. Alright, well. GG. Yeah. Oh my god, this was a tiring game. This, yeah, this was definitely a... a I, I don't know what exactly it was, but... Like... This game felt like, like it took a whole <laughs> lot longer than it actually did. Yeah, this was what? A three, four hour game in true length? Yeah, probably somewhere around there. Feels like it's been like... Six, eight. <laughs> oh my god, I'm tired now. Uh, there's definitely a few mistakes that I made that I could have just done better. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to think I remembered all my rules this time. Unfortunately, didn't get to use some of them. Yeah. I think the two things that really messed with you was your one... My, my inability to say what I'm doing Dude, before I roll. Really? I got super dice happy and it screwed me. Yeah. And then you forgot your knob, your one yeah, boss my, knob. Yeah, my boss voice, knob in the one combat. Which would have probably been at least one more Zangor, Zangor. gone, which would have been another one gone in morale. True. Uh, either way, really good game. I, yeah. I enjoyed this one. I uh, hope you guys did too. Uh, if you did, I don't know, like, subscribe, watch more. We have, yes. a, we have a backlog. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. And have a good one. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Click the like and subscribe button. Feel free to leave a comment down below and catch you next time.